This short video will show you how to configure a firewall filter rule on a router or other device running Digi Accelerated Linux. This includes devices such as routers, cellular extenders and networking devices. The firewall defaults allow all traffic to be routed from the LAN to the WAN and return traffic will be allowed back in. The firewall restricts traffic initiated from the WAN side, which is usually the internet, to the router's WAN interfaces. In other words, inbound traffic from the internet will be blocked. This is what most networks require. However, there is sometimes a need to block or allow specific traffic. So I'll show you how to configure this. You can do this from the router's web management interface or through Digi Remote Manager. I'll demo this using the router's web interface. I've got two pings running, one to the router's IP, 192.168.2.1, and another to 8.8.8.8, so we can see when these are blocked. You'll need to open a web browser, connect to the router IP address, and log in. The first screen you'll see is the dashboard view, and from here you can see that the Ethernet and modem interfaces on this iX10 are both up. To start with the configuration, go to System, Device Configuration. Then into Firewall Packet Filtering. First have a look at the rule that's configured by default. It allows all traffic from the internal zone to anywhere. Stateful Packet Inspection handles the reply traffic automatically. To add a new rule, click on the plus symbol, give it a name, set the action to drop. The difference between reject and drop is that drop is a silent discard. Reject will return an ICMP reject packet. Select the IP version and the protocol. The ICMP type can be left as any, but seeing as we're specifically targeting pings, or ICMP echo request, we'll set the type to 8. The source zone will be internal, and the destination zone will be any. Now apply the settings, and let's check those pings. Hmm, strange, huh? They're both still okay, so what went wrong? Well, actually, nothing went wrong. The reason is that the first rule that's configured allows all traffic through the router. So packets will hit this rule first and not get to the drop rule. So you need to reorder the rules. Notice how traffic going through the router is blocked. This is correct. Also notice that the traffic to the router is still working. This is also correct because the filter rules are written to the forward chain within the filter table in IP tables. If you need to block traffic to the router, then it would be a different process and you'd need to write an IP tables rule into the custom rules section. You can look up the syntax for IP tables online and write the relevant rules and then drop them in here. For more information on this or any other feature of your Digi device or Digi remote manager, please see the documentation pages at digi.com support.